The animal kingdom is full of fascinating and sometimes downright bizarre behaviors. When it comes to mating, some animals have developed truly unusual and even shocking rituals that seem to defy human comprehension. From aggressive battles and bizarre courtship dances to traumatic insemination and multiple partners, the world of animal mating behavior is nothing short of extraordinary. In this video, we will delve into the top 20 strangest animal mating behaviors in nature, where the mating rituals of certain animals will leave you feeling both amazed and bewildered. Get ready to explore the strange, fascinating, and often unexpected ways that animals have evolved to reproduce and ensure the survival of their species. Without further ado, let's get started. Elephant mating. Male African elephants reach sexual maturity between the ages of 12 and 15, while females reach maturity around 10 to 12 years of age. During the mating season, which can occur at any time of year, males become more aggressive and territorial and will engage in courtship displays known as must to attract a mate. When a female elephant is ready to mate, she will emit a high-pitched vocalization to let males know that she is receptive. The male will also display other courtship behaviors, such as extending his trunk and wrapping it around a female's trunk or touching her hindquarters. If a female is receptive to the male's advances, she will respond by lifting her tail and allowing the male to mount her. The mating process can last anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. After mating, the male will stay close to the female to prevent other males from mating with her. Black Mamba Mating Mating in black mambas is a competitive and intense process. During the spring and summer months, males will search for females to mate with. However, as black mambas are solitary animals, finding a mate can be a challenge. When a male does find a female, he will engage in combat with other males to compete for mating rights. These fights can be violent and even deadly, with the snakes using their powerful bodies and venomous spites to gain the upper hand. Once a male has successfully defeated his rivals, he will mate with the female. The mating process itself is brief, lasting only a few seconds. After mating, the male will leave and have no further involvement in raising the offspring. Female black mambas will lay a clutch of up to 17 eggs in a protected location and then leave them to hatch on their own. Giraffe mating Mating in giraffes is a unique and fascinating process, which involves a number of strange and interesting behaviors. One of the most notable aspects of giraffes' mating behavior is their violent courtship ritual, known as necking, where males use their long necks to swing their heads and hit each other with powerful blows. This behavior is not only used to establish dominance over other males, but also to attract females. Once a male giraffe has established dominance, he will follow the female, sometimes for days, until she allows him to mate. Interestingly, male giraffes have been observed attempting to mate with other males, a behavior known as homosexual mounting, which suggests that their sexual behavior may be more complex than previously thought. Giraffes' mating behavior is just one example of the fascinating and sometimes strange ways in which animals have evolved to reproduce and pass on their genes to the next generation. Crocodile Mating Crocodiles have unique and fascinating mating behavior. Mating usually occurs in the water during the dry season, when the water levels are lower and more concentrated. The male crocodile will approach the female and start to rub his head and snout against her body. He will then try to get on top of her and hold her down, sometimes resulting in a violent struggle. Once a female is attracted, the male will mount her from behind and engage in copulation, which can last anywhere from a few minutes to over an hour. After mating, the female will lay her eggs in a nest that she has built on land, which she will fiercely defend from potential predators. Interestingly, the sex of crocodile hatchlings is determined by the temperature of the nest during incubation. If the temperature is high, more males will hatch, while a lower temperature will produce more females. Jackal mating During jackal mating, the male and female engage in a complex series of behaviors that involve vocalizations, body posturing, and physical contact. Mating typically occurs between monogamous pairs during the breeding season 
Male jackals will often approach a female with a submissive posture and will nuzzle and lick her genital area to initiate mating. The female may initially resist the male's advances, but eventually she will allow him to mount her. Copulation lasts from minutes to hours because the female jackal will often lock her genitalia around the male's sex organ. This phenomenon, called coital tie, can last for up to an hour, which ensures that the male's sperm is properly transferred to the female's reproductive tract. Interestingly, jackals also exhibit post-copulatory behaviors, such as mutual grooming and sniffing each other's anogenital region. These behaviors are thought to be important in the formation and maintenance of the pair bond. Warthog mating. Mating in warthogs occurs throughout the year with no specific mating season. Males will approach females with a series of grunts and chatters, often following them for extended periods of time until the female allows mating to occur. Interestingly, warthogs have a unique reproductive adaptation known as delayed implantation. After mating, the fertilized egg will float freely in the female's uterus for several months before implanting into the uterine wall and continuing development. This allows warthogs to time the birth of their offspring to coincide with periods of optimal food availability, which can vary greatly depending on seasonal and environmental factors. During mating, male warthogs have also been observed engaging in aggressive competition with one another for access to females. This includes physical fights, such as pushing and shoving, as well as vocalizations, such as grunting and growling. Females may also exhibit aggressive behavior towards males if they feel harassed. Mountain Lions Mating Mountain lions, also known as pumas, are solitary animals that only come together during mating season. Mating typically occurs from December to March, with the peak period being in January and February. During this time, the males will travel long distances in search of receptive females. Male mountain lions use urine and scratch marks to mark their territory and leave their scent behind. This helps to establish their dominance and signal to females that they are ready to mate. However, it is ultimately up to the female to choose her mate, and she will typically select the strongest and most dominant male available. They do not form long-term pair bonds. Males will mate with multiple females, Females do the same. After mating, the male and female will go their separate ways. There is no parental care provided by males, and the female is solely responsible for raising and protecting her cubs. Ant mating. The queen ant produces a special scent. This scent is a powerful attractant for winged male ants from other nests who are drawn to the queen. The male ants that are attracted to the queen are enormous, similar in size to the queen herself. However, the journey to becoming a consort of the queen is not an easy one. The male must prove his fitness to the colony. The other ants, initially viewing the male as prey, must be convinced that he is a suitable consort for the queen. If the male is accepted, he will mate with the queen in the royal chamber. However, his time as a consort is short-lived. When his job is done, he retires from the royal chamber and dies. With this sacrifice, he will father several million offspring, ensuring the continued success of the colony. Honeybee mating. Mating in the animal kingdom can often be a life or death affair. Honeybee males get to mate with the queen only once before they die. When the queen bee emerges from her hive in search of mating partners, drones will swarm around her, hoping for a chance to mate. The fastest and bravest drones will be the ones to mount the queen mid-air and mate with her. However, the cost of this act is steep. Once a drone ejaculates, his testicles will explode and his endophallus will be left behind inside the queen. The drone then falls to the ground and dies. One would think that the other drones would learn from their brother's fates, but the competition is fierce and the next drone will take out the endophallus left by the previous drone and attempt to mate with the queen himself. This cycle continues until the queen has mated with as many drones as possible. Nubian Ibex mating. In some places in the Middle East, there are special pools where female Ibexes come to drink water every day. These pools are guarded by a male Ibex who wants to mate with the females. Other males also want to mate with the females, so they fight each other to see who gets to guard the pool. 
The male ibexes use their heads to fight and can keep fighting for up to an hour. Sometimes a third male might join in, making it even harder to win. But if a predator is near, they will stop fighting and run away because they need to be careful. This fighting and guarding is important for the male ibexes to mate and pass on their genes to the next generation. Despite the risks, mating is a crucial part of the ibex's survival, and the males will stop at nothing to secure their place as the dominant male. Blue-footed boobies The blue-footed booby is a species of bird that is known for its unique courtship ritual. Male blue-footed boobies perform their famous courtship ritual. The male's bright blue feet are a key component of this ritual, and they help attract a mate. The brighter the blue feet of the male, the more attractive he is to females. This is because the brightness of the blue indicates the health and quality of the male. During the mating ritual, the male will also present the female with a gift, usually a stick or some other small item. The female will then decide whether to accept the gift or not. If impressed, the female will respond by lifting up her own feet and showing them off to the male. This back and forth display continues until the female chooses a male to mate with. If the male is successful in impressing the female, they will mate and produce offspring. Golden Eagle Mating The golden eagle is a majestic bird of prey known for its impressive aerial displays during the mating season. Males will perform a sky dance, soaring high into the sky and then dropping down in a series of swoops and dives. This dance is not only a display of strength and agility, but also a way to attract a mate. Once a female is interested, the male will bring her gifts of food and twigs to build a nest. They may also engage in sky dancing, where the pair will lock talons and free fall together before releasing and flying off in opposite directions. This behavior is thought to strengthen their bond and reinforce their pair bonding. Once the pair has formed a bond, they will begin building a nest together, typically on a high cliff ledge or in a tall tree. Once the eggs hatch, the male will continue to provide food for the female and their offspring. Bears mating. Brown bear mating is a complex process that occurs in the late spring or early summer. When the bears emerge from their winter hibernation and begin to establish dominance hierarchies and mating territories. One of the most striking aspects of brown bear mating is the competition among males for access to the females. Dominant males will often fight with each other for the right to mate with females in their territory, and the winner will typically have exclusive mating access to those females. Mating can last for several minutes or even hours and can involve multiple copulations over the course of several days. After mating, the female will typically become pregnant and give birth to her cubs in the winter den. Brown bears have a relatively low reproductive rate, with females typically only producing one or two cubs per litter every other year. Raccoons mating Raccoons are nocturnal and solitary animals, but they do come together to mate. Matings usually occur in late winter or early spring, with a gestation period lasting about two months. Male raccoons, called boars, will actively seek out females, called sows, during this time. Boars will use their sense of smell to locate sows, often traveling long distances in search of a mate. Once a boar has located a sow, he will engage in a variety of courtship behaviors to attract her. If the sow is receptive, she will respond to the boar's advances by vocalizing and assuming a receptive posture. Female raccoons will mate with multiple males during the mating season, resulting in litters with multiple fathers. Males, too, mate with multiple females. They play no role in raising the young and will leave the female shortly after mating. Sandwich turns mating. Sandwich terns are seabirds that engage in a unique mating ritual involving a courtship dance. During this dance, the male will approach the female while holding a fish in his beak. He will then offer the fish to her as a symbol of his ability to provide for her and any potential offspring. If the female accepts the fish, it signals her interest in the male, and the two will proceed to mate. However, if she rejects the fish, the male will have to try again and look for another potential mate. The courtship dance is a crucial part of the mating process for sandwich terns. 
as it helps establish a strong bond between the male and female and ensures successful reproduction. In addition to the courtship dance, they engage in other mating behaviors such as displaying their distinctive black crests and bills to attract potential mates. Sea Lions Mating In this clip, a sea lion can be seen forcing itself upon a penguin, which stunned many. Now, penguins may not be the primary source of their food, but they have been known to eat penguins. This particular behavior is unexplainable. Sea lions are known for their unique and interesting mating behaviors. During mating season, males establish territories on beaches where they can attract females. Males use a variety of tactics to attract females, including barking, growling, and even fighting with other males. The actual act of mating occurs in the water, where the male will mount the female and copulate sometimes on land, too. After mating, the female will give birth to a single pup about a year later. Interestingly, male sea lions have been known to display homosexual behaviors during mating season, including mounting and attempting to mate with other males. Maybe that explains this clip. Sea turtle mating. Sea turtles mate in the water rather than on land, and it's a noisy affair. The male sea turtle uses his sharp claws to hold onto the female's shell while he attempts to align his tail with hers. Once he has found the right position, he will begin to copulate with her. After mating, the female sea turtle will crawl up onto the beach and dig a nest in the sand where she will lay her eggs. Depending on the species, a female sea turtle can lay between 50 and 200 eggs in a single nest. The sex of the sea turtle hatchlings is determined by the temperature of the sand in which the eggs are laid. Warmer sand produces more females, while cooler sand produces more males. This makes sea turtle populations vulnerable to climate change, as rising temperatures could skew the gender ratios and lead to a decline in the population. Jacanas mating. Jacanas are a type of bird found in wetlands and swamps in tropical regions. During mating season, male jacanas perform an elaborate courtship display to attract a female. Once a male has found a mate, he builds a floating nest in the water where the female will lay her eggs. After the eggs are laid, the male takes over most of the responsibility for incubating and caring for the young. In fact, male jacanas are known for their exceptional parenting skills, as they will aggressively defend their chicks from predators and other males. This is quite unusual in the bird world, where it is typically the female that takes on most of the parenting duties. This is unusual in the bird world as most bird species are monogamous, meaning they mate with one partner for life. The mating and parenting behaviors of jacanas are truly unique and fascinating to observe. Koala mating. Koalas may seem cute and cuddly, but their mating behavior is anything but romantic. Female koalas have a tough time during mating season, as they are often pursued relentlessly by male koalas. These males will follow the females around and emit a loud, bellowing call to let other males know that the female is taken. But the competition doesn't stop there. Male koalas will also engage in fierce battles with each other, using their sharp claws and teeth to defend their territory and mating rights. Once a male koala wins the right to mate with a female, the actual mating process is brief and uneventful. It lasts only a few seconds and is usually initiated by the female. Interestingly, koalas have a bifurcated reproductive system, meaning that females have two separate uteri and two vaginas. This allows them to produce two different types of milk for their young, one high in protein and the other high in fat. Lemurs mating. Lemurs are primates endemic to Madagascar and have a unique and interesting mating system. Most lemur species are seasonal breeders with a specific breeding season that occurs once per year. During this breeding season, males will compete for access to females, often engaging in fierce battles to establish dominance. Once a male has established dominance, he will mate with multiple females within his group. Interestingly, some lemur species also practice a behavior called mate guarding, in which males closely follow the female after mating to prevent other males from mating with her. 
This behavior can be especially important for females that are highly desired by other males. During the breeding season, female lemurs emit a scent from their genital area, which alerts males to their readiness to mate. This scent can be detected by males from long distances, allowing them to locate females that are receptive to mating. Capybara mating Often found relaxing on the beach alongside caimans or even hitching a ride on the back of an alligator, it seems like capybaras are friends with just about every animal they encounter. When it comes to mating, capybaras have a unique system in which females establish dominance over males. During the breeding season, females will fight amongst themselves to determine which one will mate with the dominant male. The dominant female will then mate with the dominant male, and other females may also mate with him if they get the chance. Interestingly, capybaras also engage in communal nursing, which means that mothers will allow other females to nurse their young alongside their own offspring. This behavior helps to ensure the survival of their young and reinforces the social bonds between the animals in the group. Their babies are born fully developed and are able to walk and swim within hours of being born. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.